Yeah. I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing up there, but I, they're always, they're talking about going to the moon and going to Mars. So that's what he's talking about, I guess. Elon Musk, you know, Elon Musk, the guy that owns, he runs SpaceX and Tesla and his plan is to go to Mars. He wants to go to Mars. So okay. I don't know what he's going to do. I think uh, exploring the South, uh cold or south and um, arctic and uh, uh, antarctic the antarctica uh, is i think it's more um easier and more um informative and beneficial to uh, to invest in exploring the antarctic antarctica uh, because uh, i think the uh, the non-governmental or non-official travels and journeys to the Antarctic, Antarct uh, Antarctica, Antarctica, Antarctica is very limited. Um, yeah, it's pretty far away. It's pretty cold there all the time too. I think it should be easier than space and making journey. <laughs> To the space well i think they have people there there are people living there so but i don't know what they're doing there but you're right it's difficult to i think in the winter time you can't even go out they're stuck there basically because everything is frozen i think it's really cold there all the time pretty cold i i knew some i know you know you can go down to the uh antarctica and to part of it there's a trip you can take to go there a friend i, I had a student in japan he went there he worked for Panasonic. You know Panasonic? Uh, yes, uh, a, a large company that produces uh, electric electric devices. And... Yeah, they make everything. Batteries. They make batteries and all kinds of stuff. But he he worked there. He went to Antarctica. He showed me the pictures because I had some. I, he was going to. He was transferring to the United States and and he wanted to brush up on his English. And so the first time I met him, he showed me all of his pictures on his iPad. He went to Antarctica. He said it was his, his goal. And his, he said in his life, he said, you know, when people make a top 10 list, you know, sometimes top 10 in my life, I want to do 10, these 10 things. I don't know why 10, but choose 10, or, you know, what go, go scuba diving or go, but on his list was go to Antarctica. And so he went there. <laughs> so it was kind of interesting. I thought, not so, he's the only person I've ever met that went to Antarctica. I've never met anybody else that went to Antarctica before. And he had some Antarctica. nice pictures. Antarctica is famous for two things, I think. Uh, the first is the ice wall. There is an ice wall that's not found in the uh, Arctic. Uh, pole or uh, Arctica. And yeah, there's the, a lot uh, of ice. But uh, but it's uh, it's found uh, the ice there is formed as a wall. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, that that uh, looks like a mountain or a wall uh, at the sea. Uh, it's it's different from the the ice in the North Pole. No. The second thing uh, is uh, penguins. Penguins, uh, the, oh, yeah. right. uh, they are uh, originally or uh, basically uh, found in Arctica, Antarctica and I think uh, Auster Australia. I don't know Maybe. about Australia. I'm not, I'm not sure about us. I don't think they're in Australia. They like cold weather, I think. I think they like to have the cold. They like to be in cold weather, uh, uh, penguins. I know they're in Antarctica. I thought they were only in Antarctica. I could be wrong, but I think only maybe in Antarctica. Maybe only there, I think. Uh, I I heard a lot about the uh, uh, large, uh, huge ships that sail there uh, near Antarctica and uh, harvest uh, fish and uh, some kinds of um, sea creatures that they made uh, medicines from, made um, supplementary uh, uh, 
complementary uh, metal I uh, am uh, complementary uh, um, medicines uh, supplement supplements uh, nutritional supplements from mm. from the fish from the fish they harvest there oh really mm. uh, and i think uh, and i read that uh, uh, that's not very good thing because that uh, affect that affects the um, balance there and uh, um, What's called uh, nature there or the... oh nature, natural balance. Yeah. Mm. Well, possibly I don't know. There's a lot of things going on there. It's a pretty sensitive place. There's a famous story about the uh, Japanese Japanese crew team that went to Antarctica in uh, 1956 or 1958 or something, and they had when they went there they took dogs with them. And the dogs were like for yeah. the dog sleds, and they and when they left, they left they left the dogs there because they couldn't take them with them. So they left the dogs in it. The, but there's nothing there, really, to eat or anything. But they, so they left the dogs, and then when they went back, like I don't know, six months later, a year later, two dogs were still there. I think I watched the movie that talks about uh, a, a a competition between two teams. Who were um, competing for uh, the first team ever to visit or to reach the South Pole? Uh, I, I think I watched a movie. Mm. Um, I think there was a Norwegian guy that was there, Amundsen. Amundsen, I yeah. think his name was. He was. Yeah. Was it? So uh, one team was from Norway. Norway, yeah. Amundsen, I think his name was. Yeah. And then, but the Japanese people went later. That was in the 1950s, I think. And they, they left those two dogs there. Those two dogs, they, they became famous in Japan. So they made a movie about those dogs. And then they made a coin with a picture of the dogs on the coin. Jiro, told the dog's name, there was Jiro, Jiro and um, I don't know the other one's name. <laughs> Jiro and something else. I can't remember. You told me before that you stayed uh, in Japan. Yeah. Uh, I'm right. Yeah, I lived there uh, for a long time. I may, that's why you know you know that story. Yeah, the coin, the coin, yeah. the, the coin with the dogs on it is a commemorative coin, right? It's it's 500 yen. They, in Japan they have a coin it's 500 yen. It's like $5. It's a coin though. And I bought a I bought a drink in a vending machine. Right, and I put the money. My I had like a, a bill, thousand yen. I put the bill in the in the machine, and I got my change back. And when I got my change back, I was looking at it, and there was a strange coin. It had this picture of these dogs. I thought, what kind of? I never seen this coin before. What is this? And I showed it to some people, Japanese people, and they said, "Ah, oh, it's a fake, fake coin." <laughs> some people didn't know. And then I asked, I asked, I asked one one guy. He said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He said, "Those are the two dogs." And I said, "What? What two dogs?" He told me the whole story <laughs> he said, about the two dogs. And so they made a coin for those dogs, Jiro, and I can't remember the other one's name. Jiro and something. I can't remember the name. Haru, Haru, maybe Haru and Jiro. I think. Uh, yeah, uh, it's beautiful to travel across the world and visit and live in. And other countries and and uh, and no uh, no no more about other cultures. It's interesting. I w I wish I could uh, do that. Yeah, a person's life is pretty short. You know, you don't really have that much time to go. You know, because people are working and you don't have time to travel to another country and spend time. And I I spent a lot of time in Japan. I wish, but I was with there when my my children were growing up, so it was hard to go anywhere. We used to travel together. It was hard though, so I didn't really get a chance to meet a lot of people. But travel a little bit, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, traveling is interesting. Now traveling is really hard though because of this pandemic thing. Yeah, so that's of course. People are worried about going to the supermarket. <laughs> it's like yeah, they can't even go to the supermarket without worrying about something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Egypt is a famous place. I always wanted to go there, see the pyramids. Of course. 
Uh, I didn't see the permits yet. <laughs> oh, really? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't even uh, see the permits from uh, from outside. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, that's the way it is. I've never been to New York. <laughs> so, I don't know. Everybody thinks everybody goes to New York. It's like a famous city. I've never been there. 